2044. In response from the federal government after the modern American Revolution, a convention was made to put all rebels and rebel sympathizers into a group of states known as the Free States. The Free States were a joke in their own name. Since the rebels demanded true freedom and no surveillance, the government placed us all into a land with no government, no contact with the outside world, and no resources. Just a wasteland of anarchy. Not a true anarchy, though. This was an enforced anarchy. If a group was any stronger than a gang, the Federals would come in with their VTOLs and weapons and wipe the group out. A forced chaos. Now it's 2047. I'm getting by as a kid who was practically raised in the Free States. I had a family, a mother and father at least, but they're gone now. I can't really go into details if I don't know what they are. They were killed, I'm guessing, when I was 12. This was normal though. I'm not sure if anyone out here is any older than 30. Back to the geography here, mostly forest and deserted country towns. There were big cities, but they destroyed them all. Most of the air is poisonous. The forest is more or less a safe haven from the toxins. And now I'm telling this story so that maybe one day someone from the outside world could change what we live in on the inside. Today, I woke hungry. I could have hunted if I had any working weapons. My bow had a stretch string and my pistol had no bullets. But I could scavenge. Food, all of it. I don't think that's all of it. Okay, now your ammo? I don't have any. You don't have any rounds in that gun, do you? I don't like doing this, but it's every man for himself out here. I woke up to gunshots and yelling. Let's go, let's go, come on. Stole your food, man. At least it saved your life. Whoa. Useful. I advise you run. Or as close as you can with that leg. Oh my God. My name's Raven. Kyle. Sorry I robbed you earlier. I was just so It's cool. Right so over the hungry. Finish, man. Yeah, I know. How about we go and hunt? He has my supplies, but okay. You have my gun. I have his gun. <laughs> Useful <least>. trade. <laughs> so uh 
this is where I've been uh, camping. So you can just lay your bag back there and see where mine is. <clears throat> I've got a better roll to you. You know, uh, like a blanket or anything. Nah. And we'll get you something. You got enough clothes, you'll make it through the night. <laughs> That's what I've been doing, just wearing all my clothes. There's some cars out here, I mean, old cars, moldy cars, but yeah. they work. So, we've got the pistol and everything, but you, you're, we're going to need a melee weapon, right? Yeah, so, it would be better. Because ammo is, like, gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so just look around for, like, uh, wood or something. I don't see anything, man. Whoa! <laughs> Where'd you find that, man? That's laying over there by that bin, man. Well, well uh, score. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, crap. That's, uh, whatever. So, yeah, what is that, though? I'm not it's like sure. A farming equipment? <laughs> yeah. How's it feel? Whoa! It's heavy. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. This is not a one handed weapon. Here, uh,. Yeah, put it by the bag, and we'll talk in a bit. So, whoa. Yeah, I think it's farming equipment. We can use this to get food. <laughs> can't really find much food. Hey, uh, Kyle. Yeah? I want to talk to you. Okay, what about? Um, I'm sorry for trying to rob you and everything. No, it's, it's okay, I would have done the same. Well, yeah, I guess. Fine. But, uh... So, who was that guy? I mean... A bandit, I guess. Well, do you want to, like, go... What, who's back there? You want to check him out? I mean, he has guns. He probably has more. Yeah, speaking of which, where's that rifle? Well, it's... But... It's in... We lost it? I, I think he stole it. Oh. So he's here? Pacific Free States has within a major violation of the Gregory Convention, a faction. For the less educated among you, a faction within your territory is defined as an organized group containing more than 100 persons. The Gregory Convention states that all factions must be eliminated in order to preserve the territory's freedom. An offer is being made from your benevolent government any individual who could capture or kill the leader or hire up members of this faction and return them to our bases will receive amnesty and citizenship within the federal states. Prepare for CERC troops to enter your territory in 24 hours. That is all. They've never talked to us before. Yeah. Well, here, look at this map. 
Okay, so they mentioned the Northwest Pacific's free state, so that's where we are. Uh, we're right around here on the coast, uh, but the bases, the the Canada Watch Force base is about hundreds of miles away, so that doesn't really matter. But I'm guessing they're going to come from the NorCal base, uh, or maybe Idaho, if, if the actual states act like bases. I don't know, all I have is a map. <laughs> Uh, and also, uh, one thing, our message, you heard how it was echoey? Yeah. Uh, w what if we got a late? They said it would, they would come in 24 hours. What if they, like, gave us that message 24 hours ago and it just got here? We better start moving then. Yeah. 